Ooh, well, uh, how funny. The New Horizon Forbidden West just came out, and... Uh, I just finished the first one. Ain't that funny. New one came out, and I just got to the first one and finished it. I will do, maybe do a review on the full Frozen Wilds if, uh... When I, when I play that, I have the expansion since I got the complete edition. But I fin I just finished the game. It's good. But not as good as God of War, Ghost of Tsushima, stuff like that. So, why? Well, it's, uh, takes a while to really get a hold of it. At least it did for me. I don't think there was a hook at the beginning, like Ghost of Tsushima, that moment Kamomo, Kamono, K Kamono Beach was it? Or God of War when you first start out of the cabin? Not quite like that. To me, it was like halfway in five or six hours in when it got a hook of me when I started feeling awesome and when I, when it actually got a hook of me, the story started getting good, like better. I started getting invested with the characters and the gameplay just clicked. So. It takes a while, and that that's one flaw, possibly, but it does hook you all the same. Let's talk graphics. Now, graphically, the game is decently impressive, not like Ghost of Tsushima or God of War, but those games came later on the PlayStation 4's life. This game, 2017. So, it still looks pretty good. I will say the hail physics are a bit ridiculous. Though, like, I feel like it's always like that when you're moving around. I'm not gonna lie, which is ridiculous, uh, but other than that, it looks pretty good. I had a few frame rate drops, nothing much, and a few graphical glitches, like when something spawned, like oak wood spawned inside of that, and then collecting, I guess I need to talk about now. Collecting! It's something where you pick up items and you can use it to craft. Uh, somewhat like Ghost of Tsushima where you craft arrows, that's really how it is, and like, go Tsushima, there's the bow, only there's a huge focus on that, and I was shocked, because when I tried doing melee, uh, I got whooped, big time, they laid me on the floor, and, um, uh, yeah, it didn't end well for me, so, it turns out the arrow, bow and arrow, at first I was worried about it, but, now, I was just saying, at first I was worried about it, but, it was really fun, and the components taken off robots was really good, too. It felt satisfying, chunky, and meaty. There was a good feel to it. Now the setting, the robots. It's in the future. I'm not going to spoil anything about this and why the robots are around here. But it, I, like, it seems like we've gone back to a primal tribe sort of thing. Not only that, but there's these robots roaming around like animals, some more vicious than others, also like animals really cool. Uh, I thought some of us were spectacular. Just today, actually finishing it, I also went for the tall necks, which are these giant things you go on and it goes around the map and shows you where. Like the Assassin's Creed towels, only for better. Speaking of Assassin's Creed, climbing. Climbing mechanic is like Ghost of Tsushima. It's very obvious where you can and can't climb, and it's decently fun to climb. There is a bit more to do when it comes to climbing in this than there was in Ghost, but I think this is because there's a bit more focus on this than there was in Ghost, and Ghost goes for a more realistic approach, uh, but it was fun. Nothing complex, but uh, pretty fun. Now the open world. Better than Halo Infinite's, uh, like Ghost and God of Wars. Different. I mean, it was open, it was nice, it very large, and with the Frozen Wilds, I'm sure it's going to get larger with that expansion. And I'll make a video on the Go Frozen Wilds when I, f when I play get to play in that, which, hopefully soon. I still have a lot more games to play, and I plan on talking about them as well. That was a weird thing that just happened, sorry about that. The story, I'm not spoiling anything. This is an old game, but I'm not spoiling anything. Uh... It's a decent story. At first, I didn't care. But then, as time went on, I started to like it, and it felt better when I got invested in Aloy. I think she's a strong protagonist. I don't mean literal, I mean figurative. And literal. I mean, she'd... She'd whoop me, say at least. She's... 
side quests were decent. There were some really good side quests and some that were just average. Some were more built on, some less. Overall, side quests way better than Assassin's Creed. Copy paste. Guess I finish off with uh, Raiden and Forbidden West. I really want to play now, and I gotta say, I think that's a compliment to this game. It makes me want to play it, and uh, so I'll try to get Forbidden West. And one when, when I get Forbidden West, I'll finish it, review it. But before that, I'll probably review the Frozen Wilds, which I have that expansion. I need to get to it though. Anyway, uh, <coughs> Final Vortic, or Raiden, or whatever you want to call it. 1 to 10, I'm going to say it's an 8. Uh, I really do love this game. I think it has a strong ending, too. My issue is it took a while to hook me in, and it was like that middle that grabbed me. But, like It hooked me in. Yes, the middle. First half, I was not feeling it. It took a while, but the gameplay is solid. It's good, and eventually it did grab me by the testicles. And... Uh, I don't know, if you own a PlayStation 4, then buy it. And if you loved Ghost of Tsushima, then you'll love this. If you liked God of War, you'll probably also like this. If you like video games, you'll also probably like this. If you like titles, open wars, whatever, you'll probably like this. And, uh, I guess I gotta get Forbidden West now, don't I? See ya.